<laughs> well, Adam's on the phone with his brother. Uh, we're putting bumper stuff on this. Brush guard's not going to work, unfortunately, because it doesn't line up with the bumper. Oh well. But the bumper that we did get from Eli does fit the truck, and I'm just getting ready to bolt it on. Look at that. That looks that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. Now he won't get pulled over. Not that he has or has gotten pulled over, but I don't have to worry about it. So I think we just need to get one bolt. But yeah, that'll that'll do. I'm gonna bolt it on, get it lined up and bolt it on. We're trying to find a brush guard like this. Because this is meant for the old style Ford bumpers. So if we get one like that, he'll be much happier. But this this is a lot better. It's already got screws in there for the, the license plate, which we're gonna put on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready now? Okay, go for it. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? I think we got this It's loose. <laughs> God damn it, everything. Less hose. Trust me, it's less hose. Actually, no, yeah, it might need that valve and then an air compressor and a tank. Yeah, I do like that much. I've done I've had that problem before. Too much hose. Giggity. <laughs> And then the pump turns on again, you're like, <laughs> Why I set it off again? I'm still holding my headset Fire on here. Off. Hold it down. No. Oh, oh man. <laughs> it's not enough for that. I think these are actual real choochers. We're gonna find out here in a second. I'm gonna borrow your air compressor. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can find it under the mess, the new mess. Oh. And of course, the piece I want does not have the dude. <laughs> yeah. And then mom's gonna get mad. Well, that's Just do it one chirp, that's it. Just press the hose on and. Oh! <laughs> do it again, do it again. I think he wants to communicate. You know, that's the horn I've been looking for. Oh my god, I need to find another one. Dude. Oh my god, <laughs> my ear. That's why that little pump can't do that. It's like this to be behind. You gave it full bore. That was a good. That was, no, it was 85 psi. Well, let's put your tank in the back of the <laughs> Wow, okay, that's a great horn. Thanks, hey, Eli. Where's the other compressor? Uh, that one I donated. Combine them together with a split tee? Well, that one on its own probably would have done it. I don't know. So we're going to do an air compressor tank and a compressor setup and break up the horn. We're actually going to do a quick mount so we it's in the truck and it's not going to get fucked up like the last one. Uh, <clears throat> so we're thinking, or I was thinking, right here, that that's already kind of bent in a nice fashion. So I'm just going to drill a couple holes there and just bolt that in and then that'll be there and then we'll just bring up the tank and compressor yeah the, those are very 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 loud yeah as we already know <laughs> so and i'm just a little sad about not being able to use that but it's, yeah it's not meant for this truck at all it, it almost looks like it's meant for a chevy or it's just not it's not going to fit you really have no clue what it was meant for anyway, yeah so. so i mean you know that's okay we're not going to complain too much, but the bumper that we got, we do know was going to fit because it was from an 86. Yeah, same year. F-250. So it's got a bumper now, so it doesn't look, it, it, it kind of look, it just looks normal now. It doesn't look like, what the hell? And then you won't get pulled over. Let, I never got pulled over anyways. Yeah, right. So now no it's not, that, it's not even. Now that I have it, like, you got a, you got a bumper on there now. I got to pull you over. Like, hey, I noticed what happened. 
So I just got to get a flat head and actually, you know what? I think that's a 5 16 so I'm going to get one of those, rip that off, put the license plate on. Bob's your uncle. All right, so we're just doing some more tinkering. We're actually uh, going to fix the e-brake cable. I mean, he's got a brand new one. Um, like it got trashed during the whole spare, the whole tire shenanigans thing. So um, I'm going to do, I'm going to mount this horn real quick, just get it there so it's not, it's just in place and we can just hook it up later. Um, he tried using his tire iron, but it's not the right size. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, just tankering. Nothing, no mechanical fixes other than the e-brake cable. This thing's actually been pretty solid and, and, and doing really good. Um, uh, you know, for what it is, uh, this little 4BT is uh, doing pretty good moving this truck around. Um, yeah, so we'll check that out. We got the bumper on, license plate back on. It's looking pretty good now. <laughs> so, me and Adam are replacing the e brake cable. At first, we thought we got the wrong one, which scared the hell out of me. I was like, oh man, did you actually just. Did, are you getting it? Oh, yeah. Is that working? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Oh, yeah, it's just twisting the hell out of it. Yeah, just rip it out of there. We got the right one. So it was really easy. Just pop it out of there. And then we'll just rip it out of this end and plug the new one in. Because it's already broken. It's already fucked. You can't fuck it even more. Out of gate out. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. Yeah, there you go. I love those vice grips. I miss having them. <laughs> just, just like balling the crap out. <laughs> so we need a 10 millimeter up here, and then we just got to. Uh, well, since this is loose now, mm. we can just undo it from there and then pop the new one and then pop it in and pop, 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 pop it in. Yeah, it's this top one here. I think. I think it's this one. It's definitely this one. Look. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, so. Wait, pull on this one again? Oh, wait. This one. Okay, you're going to that side. It's that side. It's the other side. It's this top. You're right. Okay, I'm just really confusing. Yeah, this, this top one doesn't even. <clears throat> But I think we can pop it out if you pull down that mud a little bit, and then we'll just do it to the new one. I hate these fucking adjusters. <laughs> oh, that wasn't too bad. Vice grips. Some pent up snips. anger. No. You're gonna oh, need yeah. a long screwdriver, a pair of snips, a rubber hammer or a rubber little mallet, that's and just a, that, then the metal one this i use to just tap this just to break it free in it and then this to knock it off that's to take these guys here and yard them out of their mounting surfaces just, and the other end which is snipped off right? yeah the other end we snipped off so we could pull some slack out and that meant yeah, that we just pulled this out it was you know these were the easiest e-brake cable we've ever compared had to, to the with. two nine inches we had to do from the nine inches from the s10 i think we had to screw with it but the s10 was just stupid it was plain stupid we just had a lot of issues so it's a 13 millimeter to get this little dude off got that off and then we just pried that out and and just smashed the new cable in and we're uh you got a second person then to help you do it pulling on the cable because those are a pain in the ass to readjust after you've taken them apart. <laughs> yeah. Just, just avoid it. Yeah. Just try to help somebody. Put, he was pushing on the cable so I could slip it in there once we got the new one on there. But other than that, once we got it in there, it was fine. Yeah. So that's fixed. That's not a thing anymore. No sticking e-brake cable. Wheel. Oh, yeah, we gotta put the wheel on. And then, and then we gotta do the other side at a later time. And then I gotta do mine because they're just garbage. And they were like 13 bucks, right? Yeah, they were. For the one ton, they were 13 bucks. 13 something, yeah. So. And, and then on top of that, we found out the wheel lug nuts were loose on that. Yeah, like finger, kind of almost finger tight, because I just barely went like that. They were done. They were loose. Yeah. So. I saw like when we had, like, it's like, yeah, the, the front and then the, and, and the guy's like taking the brand new one off. I'm like, yeah, like, no, no, what no. What are you doing? No, stop it. Well, I would have looked at the tire and go, God, that looks kind of new. Yeah. <laughs> But we are going to get three more of these little rape wheels, but we need to paint them black or something so they're just kind of less rapey obvious. <laughs> Semi-gloss. Yeah. 
Yeah, it might be obvious. Or Cummins tan, Cummins beige. Uh, Cummins beige. Okay. It'll match the rest of the color of the truck. <laughs> it might. And then, uh, yeah, so we're gonna get three more of these and we can find these all day long. Yeah, they were yard. they were littered all over the yard. We found one alloy wheel that looked like mine, but it was five bucks. And then we found one that looked like yours, but it was five lug and then welded to another wheel. Oh yeah, that's one too. <laughs> we found two of those. Yeah. But these, I think we look- They were just laying all over the place. Yeah, the, I think these look a little bit better as far as um, kind of, you know, the off-road farm truck looking kind of deal. I think those are alloy. And then you won't have to worry about like the chrome rusting. I don't have to worry about bending them as much as the other ones. Yeah, these are a little bit You know, this thicker. might've lasted us driving it. Probably. And it does actually tuck in. The back spacing is probably, I'd say, a half inch uh, smaller. So it tucks it in to, with the truck better than it does with these. These stick out a little bit more. And we notice that the sidewalls are popped out a little bit more with these wheels. So we're just going to replace these wheels with those. We'll clean those up, paint them up uh, a color, and then um, just have the tires swapped over. Maybe when we get those wheels, we'll get, have them put a, put a uh, make that one the spare and that get a new another Corsa tire and put that on that wheel, and then you'll have courses all the way around. And they'll have that one off as a spare. Aluminum yeah, well, it's steel. Oh. Those are steel. They are steel. They're, they're just they're weaker steel than this. Yeah, Something. maybe. But regardless, this is the wheel we're gonna go with. And hey, they were nine bucks, right? Eight ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> and we can get them all day long. You mess one up, we'll go right back to the pig and pole. Yeah. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. We're just going to wrap this up, and uh, now it's kind of back to being normal, I guess. Well, yeah. everyone might consider that. Kind of normal? I mean, it, like, safe, I guess. Yeah. No more blowouts. No more blowouts. We're okay, all good on the tires. we got this nasty brake cable. And if at... you're just tuning in, that's that's... That's another video. Yeah. Oh, well, this is, they, 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 at this point, they've already seen that. Yeah. Well, you never know, because they get that people go, why didn't you 6-9? You're like, God damn it. Oh, yeah. No, no 6-9. Oh, that's, that's, that's been shredded. That's probably going into a brand new uh, Ford frame. Or no, no that, that just made a new Cummins engine. Just made a Chinese toaster. Yeah. <laughs> Inter, good old intertrational. And, you know, well, if it were mine, I would have kept the six. I'm not going to reply to that comment because I'm like, okay, you know what? That's your thing. You, you can do that. But that's not what we did with ours. Yeah. Anyways, Johnson's Garage out.